everybody and welcome to the final day of our crock pot and crunch fitness portion I'm excited today to show you guys some of my favorite moves that you do standing up so these are great if you are outside or camping somewhere or in a hotel room and you don't want to get down on the ground these are a great option to kind of work your core and get your body going the first one you're gonna take a dumbbell or depending on your fitness level, you can just have your hand at your side. One hand is gonna be on your hip. And I actually like to, as opposed to just have it here, put it here like this, because then you can feel your obliques working. I always find that when I can see or feel the muscle working, it just gives me a little bit more incentive. If you are gonna use a dumbbell, you're gonna hold it at your side, and you're just going to run it down your body, or slide it up your body and back up. Now you don't want your hips to go out. The goal is to keep your hips in position and just go as far down your body as you can and pull it back up. You will feel your obliques pulling. Now, you're, ideally, you want to be going straight down, but if you have a tendency to lean back while you're doing it, if you need to overcompensate at all, if anything, give yourself a five degree tilt forward and bring that back up. You're protecting your lower back by having your slight tilt forward as opposed to to back. You're going to switch sides, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, the next one is a, is a knee pull. So you're going to point your toe out to the side, all your balance on your straight leg. You're going to put your arm up in the air, again hand on hip, and you're just going to crunch your knee. Now, a variation of this would be as opposed to tapping your toe every time to keeping that leg off the ground. So never letting it touch the ground, that's going to make you use more of your core to maintain that balance. This is one of my favorite moves. You can put your hand right here and you feel that crunch as you come up. The last one I'm gonna show you is, a, is another standing, and this is gonna involve more of your core. And again, multiple levels. It's high knees. You've probably seen it before. It's a little bit more of a cardio move, but you can do it at varying steps. But it involves so much of your core and you can put your hands right here on your core and feel it happening. So, level one, step your high knees up. Get them as high as you can. Make sure that you are engaging your core each time and giving that little crunch. Turn to get into more of a cardio move would be the next level. And the final level would be tuck jumps. A tuck jump is awesome for your body, getting you up off the ground as well as engaging that core. So what a tuck jump would look like, you're just tucking your body up as high as you can. So go ahead, do 10 of each, whatever you're comfortable of each, do three rounds of it. Now, because it was the last day, I wanna hear from you. I wanna know what moves from the course of this week you loved, what moves you didn't love. I wanna know what you're gonna continue with, what you're going to pull from each day to turn into your every other day or every day core routine. So I'm welcoming feedback and I just wanna know what you're taking away from the group. So make sure to post that below. Until I see you again, I wish you strength on the inside and the out. Have a great weekend.